All right, all right. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is my live recorded session of me futures trading. Uh, this is the E Mini S and P 500, and we'll see if we can, you know, capitalize if I can take a few trades here on the market this morning. Um, I appreciate everyone who's tuning in and watching today's video. You know, I'm recording now. You're probably watching it now. But again, uh, I'm going to start off here by taking a look at the uh, 60 range chart, which is my higher time frame. Just to kind of gauge to see if uh, what direction the market's actually been moving in the last few days. I mean, you could tell you could tell looking at here at the bottom of this chart here that we had a low here, a lower high. But prior to that, we've been making lower lows and lower highs to the downside. Of course, breaking structure. Um, but you know, over the last uh, week, I'd say almost two weeks, we've been kind of uh, definitely just moving sideways here. We just broke through this area of structure right here. This 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 swing high right here from. I think the 21st of December and uh, so right now my bias would be kind of uh, bullish because we are uh, moving higher here and breaking structure to the upside we broke this area here we broke some areas other areas of structure to the upside making higher highs and higher lows so you know you would be definitely probably looking for pullbacks to um, you know take some trades from let me go ahead and delete this off my chart right now so on a, from the higher time frame chart okay so we have uh, and look in here we have, you know, areas of demand resting down here at the bottom. Price can pull back too, but this is off a higher time frame chart. Above, um, of course, we have, you know, resist resistance above, but uh, we do have uh, supply sitting up in here, this area here. So, you know, price could eventually come up to this area here, um, major area supply. And then just as well, as I mentioned, we have uh, demand resting down here at the bottom. So, um yeah we'll just wait and kind of see what what takes place here i'm gonna scale down to my lower time frame chart now um uh, and see if i can possibly look for a few entries off the 12 range chart all right i look at the 12 range chart here now that i've scaled down uh looks like we have a demand resting down here in this area here so price could we can get a pullback to this area here i'm gonna mark the zone um right here We'll see what happens when price gets back down to this area. It could break through this and just come a little uh, tad bit. Let's see here. Lower. We have a little zone right below it. So uh, we'll wait and see what happens when price gets back to this area here. Uh, right now, I you know, I want to I take my trades on pullbacks. I'm a supply and demand style trader. So I like to wait for the pullback at this point here. You know, price is making runs to the upside, making higher highs and higher uh, lows here. Uh, broke it. Made a high here, pull back, made a higher high, then it came back, uh, pulling back a decent retracement to break higher, breaking through this area structure here. So leaving behind an area demand where we have aggressive buying that. So let's just wait and see what the market does when it gets back to that zone. Uh, the market actually opened up um, after in this area here. Okay, so we had a little push up here before we're pulling back and now making a higher high. So uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to wait on the pullback now. All right, I'm going for a uh, scalp here. Look for price to break the this um, the swing right here. Price moved to the upside here, broke through this area here, pull back. I'm looking for it to break this area right here, 56 and three quarters. And um, okay, let's see if we can let's see if price get up there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna hold this trade right here. First trade of the day, just looking for a quick scalp, break higher. Bryce has just been making these runs to the upside, higher highs and higher lows. So, hopefully, we get a break to the upside here. Just gonna take a quick scalp here for price to break the high right here. Okay, first contract field, second contract field. There we go. All right, so we're good on that trade there. First little long scalp of the day. Okay, um, and you want to buy on the pullback below the high volume area here. This price likes to move from you know I talk about this in many videos and using the Incorporating the uh, volume profile into my trading, 
But if I'm buying, I like to take take my loans from the lower por portion, the lower portion of a high volume area. If I'm selling, I like to take my trades from the upper portion. So pretty much buying when when volume thins out at the lower portion of a um, high volume area, and buying when, when volume thins out. Excuse me, selling when, vol when volume thins out at the, at the upper portion. So you see, price just kind of you see what it did here. It just um, tick right above it a few ticks there so that's all i was looking to do was really scalp that area there all right let's see so um there was a swing to the downside right here from like the, the 7th of december price would trace back a pullback pretty significant and then it finally made a move to the downside price is hitting this area right here around 57 or 58 area uh, which is a um supply area right here if i blow it up this is on my 24 range chart you see aggressive selling right here. Price came up here, bumped up here. So that's why we are currently rejecting that area because uh, price, um, this was an area where, where that broke structure to the downside, took out these uh, supporting lows right here. So um, so after that run to the upside where price started making higher highs and higher lows, turns around, pretty much it's a big swing to the down, I'm assuming a big swing to the downside, correct, uh, breaking through these supporting areas. So price is tapping back into areas of supply right now. And uh, that's why we're getting this rejection here right now. So, um, yeah, so we'll see what happens. You know, if price starts breaking into this area of structure back to the upside here, you know, what what's the intentions are going to be? Are we just going to, you know, pretty much make a some major pullback, uh, major pullback like what we see right here from this low right here just to push lower or not? So you have to kind of you have to read market structure, you know, even going back a few days if you need to um take a look at it and if i look at it from my higher time frame my 60 range chart this is exactly what i'm talking about um not up here where this red line is at but um even though on the 60 range this would be an area of supply resting up here but this on the 12 range if i scale down around that 5070 area um there was a smart small area of supply all right let's have a breaking higher uh i missed the trade here i will say that it was um, as price pushed higher here uh pulling back so it made a high higher low pull uh, push higher pull back breaking through um i'm taking out this this the swing right here the bottom end of support right here broke a little higher here there was the, creating an area of demand i hit the bottom and i missed that trade so it was right here this is the zone price taps into it okay yep breaking the candle right here green candle taking or breaking above this red candle or uh, right here uh, take the trade back up to this area right here. I, I missed it. I should have got in at the break right here around uh, 51 and a quarter and uh, scoffed that area there, but I missed it. It's all right. It does happen. Um, and I, I mentioned that I believe there's, you know, there's an area of um, resistance above us. All right. And uh, to be honest with you, there's an area of supply sitting right here around 71, 72 area. It's off the 60 range. You fall on the 60 range chart with price making higher highs and higher lows. It made a low right. It when the pullback here made a low, had a high here, price pulling back, and then they didn't break below this low here, but then it uh, pushed higher here. Okay, it pushed higher and turned back around and started taking out. You know areas of uh where there's lows at areas of support below took out this area of support here this one here so create leaving behind areas of supply so there's an area of supply resting right here as well as there is an area of supply resting right here um on the um 60 range or this area here as well so we'll see when price gets to these areas here on the 60 range what it's going to do uh, to be honest with you, so we're approaching that area now. Just a few points away from it. So I mentioned, you know, 71, 72 area. Um, it's a little low volume area sitting right here on the 60 range chart above the small little high volume area. Now price can break through that area and continue pushing higher. I'm just and, and test this major area of high volume up here, and then we start tapping into. Um, I mentioned, like I said, some supply areas above us too as well. So we'll wait and see. All right, I'm going short from this area up here. It's a quick, very quick scalp. Uh, just trying to take it back down to this area right here. Um, being very aggressive off of a small, very small area of supply. Um, 
Let's see if we can field here. It can push a little higher here. Let's see. Very aggressive. I didn't wait for a break of a candle. Just trying to uh, take a quick scalp here. Where's this area at? Here it is. Let's see if I can blow it up a little bit here. Little, little area right here. So we'll see if I can get field here. Just trying to scalp this area. Very aggressive entry, very aggressive. Price can't move through this area, break through it, but I'm trying to just, just scalp it real quick. Take a look at it one more time. Okay. Uh, price is right there at the first contract. Okay, there we go. First contract's filled. It could bounce here, so I think I'm going to move this up with just one tick. I'm going to go ahead and take profit right. Ah, come on. Okay, take profit there because it can bounce right here in this area. Uh, that was a very, very quick scalp. Okay. I, I showed you that off that little small, small area. Uh, what date was that from? Right here. That was from De December the 15th. Okay. So right back up in this area here. Uh, around 68, 68, yeah, around 68, um, was an area that, you know, some, some, some selling, decent, uh, uh, selling coming out of this area here, and price just retraced back to it, so, um, I went in aggressive, didn't wait for the candle break, if I did, then I probably wouldn't have taken that trade, because we do have an area of support sitting right below us, so, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, the market's slowly, slowly grinding to the upside here. Um, so my short trade was good. I'm looking at the higher time frame right quick. Yeah, I mentioned right here we got we, we we're hitting this area right here. I mentioned that we do have um, supply sitting right here on the on the um, sixty range chart here. So. Definitely so a area where price can, can bounce at. I mean, we did 68.5. Yeah, we see we kind of rejected from that area. So right now we're in a kind of a standstill right now because, you know, price is testing an area where it could fail or reject that. It could break through this area too. It breaks through this area, it's going to pull back. It'll move higher more than likely. So we'll just stand still and see what happens here. All right. Uh, so I marked that area there. I'm going to take this purple line here and I'm going to mark right here because we do have. Let me see here. Let's see. This is an area of supply resting up in here. Uh, untested gap, right? Got a gap right here. So market push back at this area. I would be expecting some type of rejection or failure. So we'll see what happens. Looking at up. Uh, Price action as price retraces back to this area if it gets there today. Um, right now, price is at 71, uh, right at 72. So, price got about another 10 points to go to hit this, excuse me, this area right here. So, if it gets up there, but there is supply, um, excuse me, resting in this area right here around 81. So, we'll see what happens. All right, looks like price might be trying to break back into this swing right here and I'm looking I may go long and try to take it back up to this area of supply sitting up here um let me see here dun, dun, dun. I think it's trying to 
Definitely think he's trying to break above here, but I want to wait. Get more clarification here. All right, I'm taking a quick scalp short right here. I was looking for this projection on this pullback. I'm looking for price to clear this area right here, right below this uh, area of support at 64 and a quarter. Hopefully we get filled here on this trade. I'm going to screenshot this and throw this out on the Discord. Um, hopefully we get, you know, filled in this trade here. So let's see. I'm in on three contracts on this trade here. Got the break at the candle to the downside. And hopefully price comes down here and Market's moving kind of slow today. I did mention, you know, we've been bullish during this session here. So um, I'm looking for some continued push to the downside here and at least um, get filled here. One of these three contracts. First contract resting at, nine, at 65 and three quarters. Okay. So we'll see. Hopefully this plays out. In my favor here, but I'm gonna go ahead and drop this onto Discord here. Well, it looks like we're approaching the first contract here. Let's see. But you never know. It should it should take out this area of support right here below. So like I said, first contract, I got it sitting at 65 and three quarters and those last two contracts at 64 and a half. Come on, baby. That should put us right at two points on this first contract. <clears throat> And uh, close to three point or three points, a little more than three points on these last two contracts. It's hitting that first contract now, it's bouncing off of it. Support right here at the bottom, so. Bounce with that first contract. I'm gonna let this let this trade play out right here. I don't want to see a break back above 72 and three quarters right here. So I'm not sure why it's not coming down, taking that area out. We shall see, we shall see. 72 and three quarters. So. A little bit more, a little bit more breathing room right there. Come on. Again, I'm in with three contracts on this. If you guys hear something in the background, I got my little fella, my little pooch. A little puppy sitting off to the side of me. Come on, push on down. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come here. Oh. I think he wants to be in the video today. Say hey. Tell him hey. Say happy trading. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. Been slow. I haven't had too much activity going on since the market opened this morning. It's just been kind of making 
higher highs and higher lows to the upside. So bullish. This will be my last trade because we're approaching. Uh, it's actually 12 o'clock Eastern time now. So it's really going to slow down now. I'm sure. Slow down somewhat. Come on. Let's see what happens here. It's coming back down, hitting on that first contract again. What I may do is just go ahead and okay, do something like this. Allow to hit my first two contracts and take out there. It's gonna hit that TP twice already. I'm not feeling my water yet. Maybe I'll do it this time. All right, there it goes. Okay, jump down. All right, we're down now. It can bounce here. All this bouncing and pulling and pushing and pulling. I think I'm gonna go ahead. Okay, we got feel good. Nice, nice, nice trade there. Okay, just putting that on Discord. All right. Let's see. Uh, I just mentioned there it goes. It could it could bounce here where it's at and turn back around. If it turns back around and we get some break to the upside, uh, meaning you know we got a a high here, this could be a retracement. Just to push higher. On a, if price breaks above and pulls back, I'd be interested in going long to take it back up to that area of supply that I marked uh, and talked about a moment ago. So that trade there, I just put out that screenshot on Discord. And uh, we'll see what happened. But I, I'm going to wrap this video up here um, and just kind of pay attention to the market to see what happens, you know, going on throughout the market. I mean, throughout the day, because uh, we are getting into the afternoon time, lunch time now. And uh, but let me go ahead, guys. If you're interested in joining the Discord, I want to talk about that. We do have a Discord community. Um, you can see I just posted that trade right there on Discord, and as well as other people, other traders, other community members. We have over 800 on the on the community now. Got a great Discord community um, with you know fellow like-minded traders that share on the trading floor side. We have actually two channels on the server. The trading floor is where we discuss during the trade session uh, when the market is actually well, you know, the New York the New York Stock Exchange is, is actually open during the day. But you don't have to just trade the morning session or the uh, New York session. Um, you can trade the Asian session or the London session. It doesn't really matter, guys, because uh, sometimes I do trade in the uh, evening session, not the London, um, but the more, the uh, Asian session from time to time if I see a setup. Um, but what I'm trying to get at is a trading floor is designed and set up for um, traders to be able to share their levels, their zones of interest, uh, their trade entries, just like I did. I screenshotted that and put that out there in Discord, letting them know my uh, uh, short entry I took. But it, it's a way... Uh, and it helps other traders as well because it helps them be able to understand and grasp why you took a short as well because they can come back and ask questions if they choose to. But also we have a general chat channel as well as if you're a futures trader. Again, this is the futures channel um, to where you can ask general questions. You know, it's a question to answer them, uh, for them. And, you know, so you can share information about the future markets as well or about future trading as well on the general chat side. So if you're interested in joining our Discord, find the link uh, to the Discord down in the description portion of this video. Again, this is my live recorded uh, trading session, trading the future markets. Uh, so, and again, this is the E-mini S&P 500. So I wish everyone safe trading if you're trading today. Uh, the market's kind of sluggish today, but I was able to capitalize and take a few entries. And that's going to wrap up this video here. I appreciate everyone tuning in and watching as always. Thank you. If you haven't subbed yet, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, guys, please take the time to go ahead and do so by clicking on the red button down below that says subscribe. Click on the bell. Make sure to turn your post notifications on so you never miss one of the uploads here on the channel. And join the Discord. It's free of charge. Find the link down in the description portion of the video. And that is the end. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is it, guys.